Everybody, I'm John. I'm Matt. And that can mean only one thing. We're here for another edition of Matt Reviews. Uh, we haven't missed a week on YouTube, but believe it or not, it's been a while since we've done this. Three weeks, maybe? Probably almost a month since we actually sat down and watched a movie and did a Matt Reviews. Until today. Until today. We're back. And reviewing, what are we reviewing, Matt? The Good, the Bad, and the Weird. Which is a Korean film. Yeah. By Kim Ji Woon. Who uh, did a fantastic movie that I watched that Matt's not allowed to watch right now called I Saw the Devil. Yeah. Great movie. Highly recommend that one. But moving on. Uh, give you a rundown of what the movie about. Basically, you got these three guys right here. You got, and oh lord, I hope I pronounce these names right because I don't think I'm going to. Park Don Woo. Did you say Hart? I said Park. Oh. Park Chan Yi and Yoon Tae Gu. Or Go. Uh, basically, at the very beginning of the movie, Yoon Tae Go uh, robs a train. And in the process, he robs a Japanese bank owner who has a Russian treasure map that leads him out to the Manchurian desert where there's this treasure. Uh, Park Chan Yi wants it, and Park Don Wu wants Park Chan Yi because he's a bounty hunter. So basically, it's just a, you follow these three men's journey, and along the way, they run into the. It's kind of like the black market, but it's called the. What is it? The ghost market. The ghost market, yeah. And they're bandits who want the map because they want to sell it and they want the treasure. And and uh, they also run into the Japanese army because they want it too. Uh, so right here, Matt, it says, "Ain't it cool news? The best action film of the year." I don't know when this was put out. Of. That's me. That wouldn't. Yeah. Man. Where'd you say that? Remember on that one website? So did that well, it may have been made in 2008. Doesn't mean that one that was put out here. Oh, well, <laughs> it could have been put out 2010, 2009. Yeah, as far as I know, this movie just came out this year on DVD in America. We're getting on track. What'd you think? I really like this movie. It's one of my favorites of all time. Well, <laughs> since I'm only uh, 11 years old, I'm about to turn 12. Well, you have less <laughs> films to, you know, gauge that against than I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm just scratching the surface. That's right. Um, so, uh, what'd you like about it? I liked, um, well, all the scenes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the one scene where um, the kids show up. Mm. Don't look, kids! <laughs> Explain it. <laughs> You're going to have to explain it. Okay, man. okay, I know okay. Some people have not seen this movie. Um, these, I think it's these two guys. Um, first he gets drugged. Who gets drugged? The weird guy. I can't remember his the name. The weird. Yoon Tae Gu, basically, he's got the map, and he gets drugged by this, basically, a, I guess he's Korean. Korean pimp, basically, uh, <laughs> who's working for the Japanese army. And they imprison him and take the map, but he's able to get out. Yeah. And the, there's one guy, they have these kids in the cell, so I don't know why, but yeah, really explain it. And they have him <laughs> in the cell with the kids, and when they're not looking, he tries to hit them, <laughs> he's like, hey, take this, uh, this is a bad word, I think, he hits him in the head with a, 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 a stick, <laughs> he hits him like three or four times, the stick breaks and it's hurting, and then he, I think he kicks him in the face, something like that. And then he gets a, a sword. This, this well, ultimately, what happens? He sticks the sword up his butt. And says, "Don't look, kids." <laughs> kicks, it, kicks it up. Yeah, he kicks the sword. Uh, I think the stick. The stick. He the kicks sword. the stick up the dude's butt and kills him. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Um, you got the you know basically the setup of good, bad, and the ugly. You got the good, which is Park Dan Wu, bad, which is Park Chan Yi, and then Young Tegu is the weird. Which of these three guys is your favorite? Um, Young Tegu. Young Tegu. I, I agree to an extent because I do feel like he's the guy who steals the show. He's the most charismatic. He's he, he's the one. You really like, and no spoilers, but something happens at the end. That is really. It's kind of surprising. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> but but I, we're not it's supposed to change Young Tegu. Forever. Do, yeah, I guess it's supposed to make him into a more of a badder character, I guess. I don't know. I, I, did, it, did it change your opinion, or did you still like him as much as you did? 
I did. He, he's, still, he's still pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt the same way. I didn't feel like it. Like when they revealed that, I was still like, I still like him. <laughs> you know. But uh, are we gonna reveal what it is? No, we're not gonna talk okay. about it. Okay. Um, what did you think about the acting as a whole? Because there's was, there was a lot of people in this movie. A whole yeah. lot of people. <laughs> like millions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thousands. I don't know. Just, just what you think of the acting? <laughs> I liked it. Did you? Mm, I like it. <laughs> it was good. Um, I think uh, I believe this guy, and I could be wrong. Someone can correct me. But the guy who plays Park Chan Yi, I believe he was in I Saw the Devil. But in I Saw the Devil, he was the good guy. He has a mustache and like a little goatee thing. It's kind of throwing me off. But I believe it's him. Did you like his performance? Did you, did you see, yeah. Some people I've heard some people complain that he doesn't seem enough like a bad guy. He just seems arrogant and cocky more than he seems like an actual bad guy. Would you agree with that, or do you feel like he was a legitimately good bad guy? He was a good bad guy. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think I think he's evil enough to. But there's one problem I have with this movie. The guy, the good, mm -hmm. I can't his name is. Uh, Gart Don Wu. Yeah, Park Don Park. Park Don Wu. Okay. Like I said, I can't pronounce Korean names. I can't pronounce American. But names. he doesn't show up enough in this movie. <laughs> he yeah, I, that's something I would agree with. He's a really good character, yet he doesn't show up as much. Yeah, he doesn't show up as much. Um, you have four main. There's a lot of action throughout the whole movie, but there's four main action things. You have the train robber at the beginning. You have. Uh, the showdown in the town between the three guys, which is, you know, mid about midway through the movie. Then okay. you have the humongous action scene where the Japanese army shows up. Then you have the duel between the three of them. Which one of those, which one of those would be your favorite? Oh. Uh, uh, the one where they're... Uh, the, the last battle? The three, the showdown with the yeah, three guys? Yeah, the showdown with the three guys and the first, the train scene. The train scene. Yeah, the train scene is a heck of a way to start this movie out, would you agree? Yeah. I mean, they started out any, way, any, um, ugh, any other way, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. I don't know. I mean, I love the movie, but it definitely gets your attention from the very beginning. Yeah. You can't you can even move, get your eyes off the screen without something happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you walk away for five seconds, someone's getting blown up or something. Like that. <laughs> it's also got a lot of comedy elements. And sometimes when you're watching a foreign film, the comedy doesn't work as well because we don't understand their sense of humor. Did you, have, what, did you think it was funny? Yes. I did too. Like it's like Takashi Miike. His movies he does a good <laughs> job of humor that works everywhere. But I have seen movies where something's supposed to be funny and I'm sitting there like what <laughs> what? You know, why is this funny? I don't get it. You know? <laughs> I, I remember uh, that one movie Takashi Miike, I didn't see all of it so probably wouldn't do a review on it. Oh happiness of the Cod of Carisia. Yeah, and <laughs> then the sumo wrestler. Oh he fell like I was like, oh. he falls into <laughs> Um most kids your age aren't watching Korean films. Does, does subtitles bother you, or are you able to? Subtitles. Yeah. Does that bother you? Do you have no. to, Does it bother you having to read film? No. What would you say to people who are like, I don't want to read a film? You said are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason a lot of stuff gets remade because you know, like, let's take something like Troll Hunter. It's yeah. getting remade because people don't want to watch a Norwegian film. What would you say to that? If someone's like, we're gonna remake Good, Bad, and Weird because we don't like subtitles, what would you say? They're dumb. Did you say do it? No. I say, you better shut up, turn your cameras off, and don't remake make this movie. Uh, something that really surprised me is what do you think about the soundtrack? The soundtrack? The soundtrack, um, we got It doesn't seem like a matter of view unless we get interrupted, so. <laughs> uh, we, we were talking about the music. What do you think about the score of the film? I, I really like the score. It sounds kind of familiar to the beginning of the, the main menu score. To uh, uh, wait, what am I just saying? I don't know what you're saying. You're rambling. That sounded like the good, the bad, it doesn't sound like good, bad, the ugly. I think it's a, it's a really good score. Uh, well, well used throughout the film too. It does a good job of either like building tension or getting you excited. Yeah, when you hear the. But music it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's not a very time accurate score. I guess it's more of a modern score. Like there's a lot of guitar and stuff, you know. Yeah, but the really good. Though. It's good. It works. It goes, it, yeah, it works with the movie. It works with the movie really well. Um, what else to talk about, man? Uh, <laughs> Dead air, man. Talk. Oh no. That, uh, what about the scenes? Uh, let's talk about some of the scenes. In the Go movie. for it. Talk about some of your favorite scenes. <laughs> also, like the scene where you got to explain uh, them all. <laughs> the, I can't remember. I can I keep forgetting the names. The, the weird. Just say the weird. <laughs> yeah, the weird. He gets chased by the the Japanese and the Korean. Uh, oh, yeah, the big battle scene at the end. 
Yeah, well, like, he gets chased most of the time. Mm, well, he's the one with the map. Uh, well, I think they have, he has the map, but he got drugged and got stole from him. No, he has the map. Oh, he did? Yeah, he got it back. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm getting off track here. Yeah, you did. Well, we're almost at 10 minutes, so out of 5, what do you give it? I'll give it a 5. I'll give it a 5 as well. Highly recommend this film. Good, bad, and the weird. Very good movie. Check it out. I'm John. I'm Matt. Check back next time.